Hey guys, you're watching one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. First off, I want to start by apologizing that we haven't done a Christmas series this year on the channel. Uh, last year we done the snow globe build, which was really cool. The year before that, I think we done Santa's Grotto when we built like like his factory and stuff. And I think the year before that we done something on the original uh, Let's Build a City World back on the Xbox there, and we built like Santa's sleigh above the town hall and stuff. Uh, this year I wanted to, I just haven't had time. Uh, it's been absolutely manic uh, in my real work, in my real job, and uh, I haven't had time to really plan or do anything. Uh, in fact, I've really struggled and I am really struggling uh, to keep up doing videos, uh, normal videos like this. Uh, just finding the time and, and, and energy. I'm tired, man. <laughs> this, these, uh, this Christmas has been definitely the hardest Christmas that I've ever had. Uh, but we're getting through it, so yes, I apologise for no like Christmas series, uh, but I do want to just keep constant uploads, so uh, yeah, we'll just have to do with, with normal cities. Anyway, today, first thing I want to do is just change up those windows to stained glass, because they just, like when I was over there for the intro, uh, it just looks like it doesn't have any windows. It just looks looks wrong, doesn't it, that red building there. Uh, so we're just going to fix that really, really quickly, and then we're going to get on to uh, the other side of this build, or these buildings. What number is that, anyway? 102. Replace 102 with 160. There we go. Okay, that was just annoying me. It's clearly inventory. So, on this side, we've got these free spots, and uh, obviously there's no windows and stuff on the back of these buildings, because we knew that we were going to have commercial buildings on this side as well. And it's been so long that I think it's time to start them. And I have a pretty cool, I think, like idea on how I want this to work. Um, I want a, a, a like, obviously like bricky, stony combination. I think I'm actually going to go with a brick foundation. Because I don't have brick foundations on sort of those ones. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe one or two blocks high as a brick foundation. And I want it to come out basically all the way. Oh, and I tell you what. We should also, hang on, we should also just drop this in by one block. Just by one so it's not in line with that other building. So we shall just cut it, and we shall paste it like that. And then I can fill in the path, make it a little bit thicker there. I don't like it when buildings are like in line, it just looks weird, especially when you go to a different block. Okay, so this is going to come out all the way, and about the same width if not the same width, probably, as the um, building in front of it. It'll just make things easier. And then above that, we're going to go into a different block. Now, stone brick would actually work uh, quite well, but it would look very flat. It wouldn't have, like, much going on with it. So, I'm thinking of using stone brick and then mixing some non-stone brick style stuff into it. So, if we grab stone brick, and then I might mix some of this just very lightly into the wall. Uh, we'll try that one. It might be a bit plain and nothing to it, but I'll give it a go. Um, what else would we want? Something like similar in, in, in colour. Maybe some cyan. I think that would work. May maybe some light grey wool. I'll put that sort of there like that. Okay. So if we... Um, if I say like the building is going to finish about there, right? And we do this. And we do replace air with 98. That just puts us a wall in. And now if I click there and there. And uh, 112, uh, 159, 9, um, 35, 8, and 48. So if we go replace 98 with 98. So we still keep the stone brick in there. And then we want... 1112 which is the um uh, like path texture that we've got 159 9 35 <clears throat> voice come back 8 48 that's going to be an even distribution so it's like 20 percent each i want more stone brick i want the other blocks to just be detailed so i'm going to put in another three divisions if you like of stone brick you know that's i don't like that but that's actually closer than i thought that i would like so we're going to add a few more stone brick. I actually like all the blocks in there. Yeah. I'm going to keep that. Now you guys are going to go, man, that is ugly, AJ. What on earth are you doing? Well, wait, because <clears throat> that's just a plain wall at the moment. We're going to get windows in there. We're going to put little divisions and stuff like that. 
it will work. Oops, it will work. But also, <coughs> I want to drop this back as well. Uh, it doesn't need to be all that way, all that far out. Um, it's going to be all that far out to about there in my head. Something like that. So this is going to be the shop front. So if we grab like some kind of clay block. Let's start off with a red sign. Is that too high? That looks a little bit too high. That looks like it'll be about right. So this is going to be like, I don't know what I'd say if it was a, whatever kind of shop it was, a supermarket, or not supermarket, but like a little corner shop or, or a betting shop or something like that. That would say that on there. We then want a window in here. Do I like how that sort of breaks there? Yeah, I think I can get that to work. And then we want probably that there. We'll have the door like that. That will go up there. This will run along the top. See, that does... No, it should be those blocks, shouldn't it? If I do replace... Brick. Oops. Ah, can't spell. Brick. There you go. It should be the same. Let me just get that foundation. We get the glass. I know it looks weird at the minute. I know it looks weird at the minute. you got to give us a chance. you got you got to let it settle. You can't make a decision that quickly. Okay, so there's like the shop, little shop window, door, sign. We get some slabs. Maybe two blocks uh, for the sign is a little bit too much. Um, I'll put a slab ab above and below to sort of make it pop out a little bit more. Also adds like a white colour. I don't know, that doesn't look too bad. We can make it smaller if we need to. Okay. Now, I'm going to carry on like I did earlier. I'm going to carry on just using stone brick. Uh, and then we'll, like, put in um, the other blocks as we need. So, like this. We do that. Set 98. We do this. Set 98. So that makes this area on here. Because the, these shops always have the people living above them, yeah? But doing it like this, we get like a little cool balcony. I saw like a, an image quite similar. Sort of similar. Um, we'll go with the brick, I think. Just want to pop it out by one as well. Get a little bit of thing going on. Um saw an image quite similar on Google. Not of Minecraft, of, of actual um, uh, actual buildings. And I thought, oh, I actually sort of like this style. I think it has like f a whole like street of buildings like this. So probably like eight or ten. Um, but we're going to fit three in here like it. Uh, we'll go with slab. What kind of slab would we want? I think, I, I don't think I can go with, like, no, I think I'm going to have to go with wood. Because if I go with any of the stone bricks, it's going to blend into the walls. Because we're using so many different stone in the walls here. It's going to make it very, very difficult uh, to try and get a stone floor. So let's do a wooden floor here. This is like, wait, you know, a place that you can stand on, chill out on. And uh, I don't know where that would end yet. I'm going to leave it like that because I don't know how, how it would work otherwise. We'll put a door in here. Something like that. And then uh, the windows. How, we, how do we want to do the windows here? We're going to do the windows like that. That sort of is spaced out mm, nearly right. That spacing would probably work the best. But I don't like having that there. I think that'll work. I'm going to have to add another block on top to get these windows to fit nicely. Like that. Oops. And put those in like this. Awesome. Stick this glass in. I'll cheer you guys up because it'll make the building look a little bit more complete. And you might like it a little bit more because I know you don't like it at the moment. Maybe some of you have some faith in me. See, I think that... Like, just think of the shape of the building. I think that looks really, really cool. We continue that on, like, all the way down. Could even put another window here. Now, I know the windows now are off-center. Like, I've got one block on this side, and I've got two blocks on that side. 
I'm hoping when I put the next building in here, it'll sort of hide that. Um, if it doesn't, I'll just take them out. Okay, so now I can do something along the lines of that and that. Just to get the other box in there. See, that's just added that extra little texture in there. Uh, slab. I think we'll... Oh, I've got the white one on me. We'll stick with the white so it still has um, a bit of a theme going throughout. I can't get them on there. Unless I use the full blocks. Or I could just break these and put them in like that. See, I think that looks really, really cool. On this side... Oh, they fit in there perfectly. We'll do just the three. And there, there, that one, and that one. I don't want to do them on the ground floor, though, I don't think. I think I'll just do the three there. That works out pretty well. Really nice color combination there. Okay, and then for the roof, I don't think I want to do this kind of flat style roof on this side. I think I want to do like an actual little peaked roof going on. So we shall do something like this. And something like this like that uh, and then for the roof here i'm thinking like a dark ish block maybe a spruce to match in with that would work so we should go with these oops all the way up and then down the other side how are we going to connect this into this other part do we just leave it like that no i gotta put another one if i can get there like that. Okay, and I don't need to worry about the other side because that's going to go into the next building. So I, def I don't want to like overhang nothing or, or anything because it's just going to get in the way otherwise. My tummy rumble. I'm hungry. <laughs> there we go. Oh, here's a question for you in the comment section. Christmas presents. Are they done yet? Or Christmas shopping. Have you got all your presents yet? Christmas shopping. I've ordered all mine. They just haven't all arrived yet. I had one arrive this morning. But I don't have all of them. I'm actually waiting for how many? I've got it on a one. I, uh, one, two. I'm waiting for two. Two more presents. It's going to be tight. <laughs> it's going to be tight. Hopefully they come in time. If they doesn't, it's never too much of a problem if they don't come in time. Because you always say, look, they're on order. I can't control when they come. And uh, people are usually pretty understanding. Slab. I, I ordered them, like, before Christmas. So I can't I can't really control if they don't come till after it. All right. We'll put a little slab under here. Again, blends in with the, with the theme of the building. The little white touches and stuff here and there. I think that looks really, really cool. Now, there's some, some parts that I'm not a huge fan of yet. I'm not a huge fan of the brick line here, so I might change that up to uh, like mossy cobble or something like that, which isn't mossy cobble in our texture pack, it's a clean block. Um, if I do replace brick with 48, I think that just looks cleaner and neater. And I tell you what, maybe I'm not a fan of the brick foundation either. Maybe we make that the same block as the um, the clean one as well. Does that just look... What looks better? Brick. Mossy. I like the mossy up there. I think I actually like the brick as the bottom. I really do. I think I prefer that. Okay, that's a really cool first building. Now, this second one, we obviously need to do a block back here. And I think we're going to keep the same design sort of thing. But I'm going to make the um, the foundation for the brick only one block deep on this one. So they definitely look like different buildings, but have a similar sort of theme going on. And uh, I think for the... Oh, I probably want to just very quickly do something like that just to change them up on this top part something like that it just keeps them all the way up um we want to keep uh, like a similar sort of thing but with different blocks maybe 
So what can we do? A similar thing like sandstone. Sandstone has a lot of potential um, chain like differences in it. Uh, if we have sandstone and then maybe mix in some oak wood, they're of similar sort of look. Maybe some um, birch again, very similar. If you look, that is very similar to the uh, sandstone. Is there a clay? Maybe a bit of clay. Maybe if I go with those four blocks, and again we do the sort of the same thing. We start off all with uh, the sandstone first. There we go. I don't even know. Was it 28? 24. Oh, I was close. Replace uh, with 28. <laughs> 24. <laughs> Cup of have a load of rails. Pick them all up, otherwise they just annoy me. <laughs> okay um and then obviously the the back will go back here uh i'm probably actually gonna make although i've made this part of the building go in i'm gonna make this part of the building come out so it's gonna have a smaller um what do you call it like a, a, a smaller balcony uh, the roofs will probably be the same height um but yeah we get a lot of dimension out of it that way we go that one to that one. Bloop. Bloop. There we go. Uh, I think I'm going to wrap this around here. I think I'll put it into there because that's just going to look nice. And I'm going to continue this one along here like this. Get the iron bars in there. Weather clear doesn't rain much on this world does it like it's not as rainy as the um the medieval city world the medieval city world like always rains don't know what it is about that i know i could like stop weather changes just with a command but uh oh sneeze Achoo. Achoo. i'm good i'm alive uh i just don't want to i could change it but sometimes i like to see what it looks like in the rain and it's a nice change and stuff okay so we got that one in there uh, again, we'll have a door. I like keeping the doors on the left here. It just sort of makes it feel right. Now, do the windows, now that we've got that building there, do the windows look off-center still? Not enough for me to be bothered. I actually sort of like it. I just don't like having that many blocks going on there. I'm going to change that one to that one. Okay. So, we put that one in. Oh, no, that's, that's, um, that's the wrong height, isn't it? That should be up there. That should be there. Does he have a block? Huh? Oh no, that is right. Oh yeah, yeah, because we've we, yeah, 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 because we've pulled it forward by a block, haven't we? Duh. Okay, that one, that one, that one. Perfect. So imagine these might like this is probably eight windows on the front here. Is probably more than you'd need for one like house that lives above or, or one um, apartment if you like that lives above this shop. You could probably have two or three apartments above this shop. Uh, access to them. I don't know how they actually get in them. Do they walk through the shop to get into their apartments? I don't know. Um, <laughs> am I that bothered about it? No, not really. Okay, uh, so there's that one. Uh, again, we'll get the uh, bits on here. We'll get the bits underneath there. Oops. Now with this one... I would technically go above like that, wouldn't I? But that would look weird. So do we then put full blocks in those? Yes, we do. I could just tell straight away. Like that. And then these stairs go up, over and down. See how that just, it all is one piece now these in like that I'll do that rest of that at the end okay let's change up the sandstone now so if we grab our wand we select all of the sandstone oh and I need oh yeah I need a sign and everything on here don't I well let's change it up first okay so we've got sandstone which is 24 35 15 5 and 159 
replace 24 with 24. One, uh, th uh, 35, 5, because it's, it, although it's planks, it's wool. 5 and 159. That was it, wasn't it? And then if we do 24, 24, 24, 24. Okay, I got I got one of them wrong. Um, thirty-five fifteen. Yeah, that that was it. Okay, <laughs> undo. Thirty-five fifteen. Okay, I don't like the clay. Undo. We'll take the clay out, which is one fifty-nine. I like that. Again, it's just adding up that extra bit of of um. Uh, what do you call it? texture it's not all the same block then uh, some people are going to love this some people are going to hate it i i can already tell uh, some people like the buildings to just be clean all the same block and that uh, i don't I, I really don't like it when that happens okay uh we'll go with what color would go on here green let's go with green so we'll put the green sign on oops on here okay put the slabs underneath and on top I think I'll put the door in the middle ish on this one I need it to be three blocks wide if I wanted it de dead in the middle and then have a three window there oh and a four window there okay if I uh, take that out put that there put these there and I've got a four window and a four window glass I, I don't know why this is feeling like a like an electronic shop like a computer shop to me like one of those like two people run it sort of thing one's like a techie guy and stuff yeah that'll work out and then the last one here we'll go back to two blocks high foundation like the first one was so we get this sort of up down up effect oh uh, yeah, not that far <laughs> and i'll keep it one block shorter than that building so they don't all go together. I think we'll go back to um, these stone bricks as well here. So I'll go from there to there. Replace uh, with 98. Same over here. I've got hiccups. And then I'm going to go to there. But I think I think I need to add another block. And again, I've got to drop it back now by one and to there oh, amazing uh where do i want this one to finish up on down here i think like that like that and like that banging these out today hey three three buildings in one episode still got a little bit to do but i think we'll do it i think we'll we'll keep the episode going until they're completed We'll put these down in here. We're going to be a real nice fill because this has been empty here for so long. I need to show you guys. What episode is it today? Episode 269. So episode 275 is the next uh, world tour. And um, there we actually get to see the world in the overview again. Uh, it's been a while since you guys have seen it in the overview, I think. So hopefully... You guys will be quite surprised to see like what it looks like. We do it every 25 episodes. If you're new to the channel or you're new to the series, uh, every 25 episodes on this series, we do like a world tour and we look over some of the older stuff that you might have missed from the new subscribers or things you might have forgotten about. And we look at the whole city in a program called Overviewer, which allows you to see the entire world at once. Like you don't have to worry about render distances or anything like that. It just shows the whole lot. And it's really, really cool to see. It really is. Like, my favourite, like, external Minecraft tool is that any, any world, even just, like, a naturally generated world with no builds in it, just, like, normal terrain in world, that, in um, uh, Overviewer, just looks amazing. It looks really cool because you get to see all the little details and stuff, all the little ramps, all the little lava pools. It's just really nice to see. Okay, so we'll put this shop window in here. I went with a pink on the front here maybe it could be like a hair salon or, or a nail salon or something like that it's sort of that's the vibe it's giving me uh we shall grab our wand back and 
and we should put a little bit of color back in there that one so that one and then that one to that one sweet uh, and then the roof again this would have to go here um, these are actually gonna hang over by one aren't they which means that that block would have to be full at the very least like that put the slabs underneath yeah and there I thought I missed that one I had a feeling I was like I don't remember placing one on the other side there uh, oops and then we'll get this going up here like yeah I thought that might be the case doesn't matter We'll find a way how to make it look okay. It's just going to sort of cut into this building a little bit. I think, we, I think we just do it like that. There we go. Uh, wand. Just flick those out. There we go. And I think I need these going up here to there and then back down again oh there's gonna be a real tricky part here where that um where the red wall is in front of me i'm gonna really struggle to place the blocks there aren't i <laughs> we'll, we'll see how difficult that is there's a way around I, I can get around if i if it is gonna cause me a problem i can do a cheeky little copy pasty style business so I can get this one really easy. And I should be able to get the next one without too much trouble as well. Very close to my face. Okay. Yeah, okay. It's just going to be more hassle than what it's worth. <laughs> so we'll do this. I stand on here. Copy. Paste. That puts that line in. And then I'm just going to put that there. Maybe. Oops. Stick there like that as well. So it wraps down into that building nicely then. That's already nice there. I don't need to worry about that. Yep, fine. This one here. What's it look like on the mini-map? Oh, it is looking good on the mini-map as well. That's always, that's always a good sign when it looks good from the, like a top-down mini-map. I think you've you've got a pretty good like design going on because it's uh, probably the hardest top down is probably the hardest thing to make look right because uh, you you have a very limited perspective. Oops, <laughs> whoops, too high. What are you doing there? How is this one one block short of anyway? Oh yeah, because it sits one block further in the middle one. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. I might do it down there as well. Ooh, plunk. That would be fair to do that. Okay. Uh, any windows on this side? I could put like a window in here. And glass. I don't think that's probably the only one I need. It's just a, like a nice finisher one. Now, now it's all done. Do you prefer it to how it worked than, than uh, what you thought at the beginning of the episode? I bet, I bet most of you do. I bet most of you at the beginning really didn't like that I was putting in more than one block into the wall. And like mixing in like, like wool with stone, wool with stone, wood with sandstone, what are you on about? But I think that looks totally sick. Looks really cool on the map having like, like the different uh, roofs back to back there still has a very shop commercial feel which is very important to have and uh, yeah I'm, I'm i'm really stoked i think that looks absolutely sick sick anyway guys i'm gonna leave the episode there if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe we shall see you in the next episode bye